everybody, I'm Evan, that's Willie, and this is Unbound Worlds Apart. This is the prologue demo uh, prior to the game launch. As, as you guys seen right before I started, there has been an update uh, with the game developers have acknowledged that the symbol uh, was unbeknown to them, but they are going to make the appropriate actions to change the symbols. I am glad. I mean, having a company that is planning to launch possibly in May all of a sudden have to change some key artwork uh, due to troubling symbols, they deserve all the praise. The fact that they acknowledge that it's an issue and make the appropriate actions to fix it and resolve the issue so their game launch does not have a auspicious shadow ling lingering over it because of that. They deserve support. So I want you guys to kind of uh, show that support. Go over to their YouTube page. Go over to their Facebook and Twitter pages, uh, their Steam, and like them, follow them. They got some good ideas, and definitely with Unbound Worlds Apart, uh, Poland Ball, uh, it looks fun. Uh, last time, we did the first part of the prologue. Uh, made a lot through the story. Uh, found some broken mechanics. Uh, and carrying on. I'm actually really enjoying the game. And so we're going to go ahead and see if we can't find some crystals and help Sully. All right. As last time, that is the little teleporter that we have to have purge crystals to use. We're going to go to the top portion here. We do not have our ability right now, as we should. Also stated, the uh, ability gates are fixed in the main game, so there are no issues with that going forward, uh, hopefully. We'll find out if there are. <laughs> we'll, we'll test that. If it's broken, if it can be broken, we'll break it. Real curious on why. Might have been because I was clipped into the spikes. What? Okay, so we can go under here. Look at the background. Those look like teeth. Might just be jagged rocks. What's over here? We found a bit of a secret. Umbra. Okay. So those are vines, but we can't get to them because we're we have our ability here. There we go. Now I'm real curious. Uh, if you look on the left side of the that vine, part of it is a vine outside of the portal, uh, and the rest of it is spikes. I wonder where that falls in at because see we have spikes there i have a feeling if i jump over i'm going to hit the spikes first uh and so i die grab that little checkpoint to find out yep so let's see if we can't find a way to get it maybe we got one over here okay this one might be easy we got a little bit more reason here so if i jump out of the portal i should be in the vine and then i walk down it i should die or i just die jumping into it okay let's see here so i'm out of the portal i'm on the vine not dying so this might be just a manner of where hitboxes are. If I walk off and I hit the, the bike and I die, I'd be real curious on seeing where the See that one I died jumping out of it. So 
It's a little inconsistent. That's a little concerning. All right, so there, there is a very tiny piece of spike coming in that portal right there, and I think that's what I'm hitting. Yeah, it is. That is. Um, so I got a little bit more. You see where the the very top ones are? If I step back slightly, they're not there, but they do show. little inconsistent that that could be light pain for an agitation point with players jumping through trying to get timing right looks like it's a vine but you die to the spike that thing I have to avoid killed me pretty quick kind of like a uh Face hugger. Loots. Alright. I'm going to assume since those can turn into spikes, we have to kill that. Will it kill it? It does. Now we can use that. So I, my assumption was we can't jump up here. We, the correct assumption. I'm just checking jump distance. <clears throat> Seems pretty pretty far. After the Mage Order discovered the interworld travel, the Golden Age of Unity ensured insight began. Get a magical power? Have a Golden Age. I guess that seems fairly appropriate. Then discover a uh, great evil that uh, makes you forget Forbid the magic, probably. Oop. Yeah, I still need to go. Alright. See, with paths like this, I'm, I'd be real curious. Do you have an ability that gets rid of the spikes? Because that would be kind of interesting. Get an ability and then make spikes disappear. And since with this, we are inversion and vertical. <laughs> what I say about floating? Ah, oh, goodness. On. Look at the background now. The level of detail and the layering of the artwork. I'm amazed. I am really enjoying that. Okay, that is blocked. There's a door here. Let's see what they have to say. Interesting. You seem to be carrying a crystal shard, a valuable treasure indeed. Crystals were once the fuel that allowed us to open portals of magic gates. That was before the Mage Order discovered the existence of the demons foul corruption. Okay. Now most crystals have been smashed and the travel between the worlds is strictly forbidden. So how did the gates open? How did the portal open up and this now disastrous e event happen? Oh, your crystal shard intrigues me. It seems to work independently of the magic gates. Pass through the other worlds, but you do seem able to harness the property. So we're not fully in the other world, but we get the properties of the other world. Prove valuable against the demon horde. Use it wisely and stay safe out there, child. Something seems to work normal. Huh? 
he hitting his head on why it comes down that far? Yeah, he hits his head and then jumps. Seriously, are you jumping farther? This ability. That'd be like a normal. I don't know. That is something uh, curious to test. Alright, so we got a switch. There's the gate. Does it kill you? Oh, come on. Okay, so it came down on me. While inverted, and I phase through, normal, I die. Can I get anywhere? Physically stuck, not clipping through, but doesn't really break anything. If I hit jump, I die. So, where's the hitbox? Get on the edge of the. Okay, that pushed me out. Oh. oh, I am stuck. Can I invert again? The jump. I, I'm really curious. Okay, so that, I was trying to move while it was smashing me and it killed me. I think it's how it should. They want to try to get halfway in, halfway out. So are the, is the feet that the box? Does Sully have multiple hitboxes? I'm real curious now. Can that get fixed? Because if there's a way to clip through that and actually escape being stuck, that could cause some issues. What causes the world to wither and die? Does it rot? Does the rot set into the core like a piece of forgotten fruit? So is he concerned that the overlap is, of the worlds is that a cause their world to rot? Whoa. You guys seeing that? Oh, I wish I had a mouse cursor that I could use over it uh that looks like a face it looks like up upside down yellow eye right there there's another eye and then it's a big mouth right here am I seeing that right and it's chained that is details on that. All right. I like it. We got one way to go. He's terrifyingly cute. Hey, little guy. You can pretty far. Oh, it's big. Why that'll be able to get past him? Go slower in the portal. That's fine. Let's So the steps will stones there disappear. over here nope okay so can we get back down there so there will be a puzzle where we have to get under a uh, sidewalk or something 
because there, there's a little bit of elasticity on this uh, inversion ability that you're still going down and up when you turn on and off. And it seems like the farther you fall, the, the more it kind of rubber bands off. You gotta go under. That was fairly straightforward. I kind of love that the mechanics are that predictable. That, not predictable, intuitive. Uh, that knowing the ability and some of the extents of it and realizing that. Yeah. And see, it's he seems to be going a little bit farther. Is this intended? I mean, you got the black wispy things going up. Is that a environmental effect that's allowing him to drop as far as he is? Oh, if I can time it right and get under there and get that crystal. There go. Because it doesn't seem like, and it might just be a distance thing. I should have just stayed inverted. I think it is a distance thing. Like the farther you drop, the 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 more uh, kind of push in and rubber band effect you have with the inversion. Because there seems to be a little bit of acceleration with the fall, and then you hit like the max velocity or, or movement speed. But you seem it, it seems faster there. There's something with that column there, like the the column of air. If not, I'm I'm full. <laughs> All right, so that puts us back here. Uh, we've talked to him. Looks like we got the crystal. It's showing in the uh, top right corner. Uh, looks like there's another spot for that. How many crystals do we need to get? It looks like just two. It looks like there's just two slots there. Gotta go back to the cutoff here. So this is the second part of the prologue playthrough. Uh, so far, Soli has learned to use a couple different abilities. The inversion one, fun. I like it. There's a lot of stuff you can do. There'd be a lot of interesting things that you'd fix with this, uh, especially if you're playing with some of the uh, camera effects, camera angles with this. If at one point we're using the inversion ability and you invert the camera, so it looks like we're right side up, but our ability's turned on, that type of stuff, it could get really mind-boggling tricky. There's a lot of stuff that's going on here. Uh, I'm real curious uh, on the developer's decision to use Unreal Engine with the 2.5D support. The models and the artwork uh, and the image fidelity is fantastic, but I know Unreal does not have a lot of support uh, for 2D mechanics. Uh, the 3D models and a 2D plane, hence the 2.5D, uh, they pulled it off phenomenally, but there's a lot of things that you can squeak out uh, with this that you can really, really have fun with it. And my, my other curiosity is why all on Steam? Uh, if you're using the Unreal Engine, uh, you can save some money, uh, especially with the development process, without having to pay the royalties. I believe it's like 5% for royalties with the uh, Unreal Engine. 
if you launched on Epic. I understand uh, Steam. You know, he's Steam's the old hat in the black. Uh, everybody goes there. It, it is kind of universal. Steam is the new kid. Uh, gotten a lot of pushback on, on things with how Epic uh, handles it. But I do believe that only the 12 or 13 percent cut on uh, the development and then using Unreal Engine for your development and not having to pay the, the royalties with it uh, in the long run uh, would be a little bit cheaper than other options. Or you could get launch on Steam and then uh, port over to do that. But I'm really having fun with this. Uh, join me next time as we continue on and get the second crystal for Soli and see what else the prologue playthrough has. Have a good day.